case, I'm here, I'm here representing the Long Beach Japanese Cultural Center. Now, I know I don't look cultural, but <laughs> anyway, I'm the president of the community center, of the cultural center there, and we would like to honor Trace for, I don't know how many years have you been there, since you were a kid, right? Yeah, since he's been a kid, he's been there active, he's done the mural, he's done the signage outside. Since I've been there, I've seen him weekly, just about. So anyway, uh, this is an appreciation of all your years of service, and thank you very much, Trace. Long Beach artist Trace Fukuhara was recently honored with a slew of tributes from politicians. Well, pretty overwhelming, Antonio. It's, it's really, uh, it's really special. I appreciate it. Every, uh, the. Um, everyone for coming out and showing their support. It's really wonderful. We wanted to learn more about Trace, so CreativityNet.tv recently visited his unique oasis and studio on Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue in Long Beach. Pacific Wind Arts and Sculpture Garden is not your ordinary artist studio. Well, it, it came to be little by little. That's what it, it started, it was very flat and there was a lot of weeds here and I just kind of cleared it out little by little and and every every year I would I would clean and I'd cut the weeds and I would uh, poison some of the weeds to get rid of it and then one day I thought you know what if I had more uh, as you see in the garden I have mounds and if I brought more dirt in here and make mounds it would be less cutting of the weeds because I just buried that whole section of weeds and so that's basically how it started and but there was a of course there was thought behind uh, putting in the dirt mounds and, and building them up and uh, so you see I, I consider them like little islands and um, and it also broke up the, the flat um, the flat the flatness of the of a vacant lot and then actually, all the rosias that you see on the, on the mounds, uh, they'll turn, oh man, they're totally beautiful in the, in the springtime. They'll, they'll be pink and lavender. And it's totally, you won't even see the green. It'll be all flowers. Um, and all of the, the uh, rosias that you see have been brought in. I mean, they're, they're, I, I grew them from cuttings. And I just figured out how to do it. And they just all grew from, from cuttings. So I didn't spend anything on the... The dirt was donated by the city when they were cleaning out there, when they were doing some road excavation. And from that, I, I uh, made smaller mounds, and it took me quite a while. Every I kind of, um, I, I, or, I, I organized my time every morning, about three or four hours in the morning, I would, I would work in the garden, and the, the three to four hours or whatever, I would work on my uh, sculpture and my artwork. And so it just finally came to be. Uh, well, not finally, but it's still it's it's a, it's a um, work in progress. Um, the sculptures are all put in strategically. Um, again, I started with plywood pieces and found object pieces, and and uh, just kind of um, just worked from there. So it was kind of low budget in a sense. I feel very confident about my art future uh, as far as the direction. Um, I'm very open uh, at this point, and um, I've I've been through quite a bit uh, to get to this point, and as far as my my experiences, um, so I'm prepared to to take on all different challenges uh, that that come to me. I, I want to work with the the general public, the kids. I always do that, um, and my uh, and I like to work on a large. I like working on large scale sculptures and. Uh, sculptures that are on a noble scale or even a mm, I never envision working on a monumental scale but if the opportunity comes I certainly would love to give it a shot um, but but I feel very confident about my arts future how I'm going to be able to do these things or, or I don't really have a game plan a strategic game plan um, uh, all I all I've done in the past is, is work hard and, and try to learn from each piece and, and just stay true to my work and um, just respectful of the people around me. Pacific Wind Arts and Sculpture Garden is located at 2095 Martin Luther King Avenue in Long Beach. Cheers.